Hi, my name is Andy. I'm a technical support engineer here at HHB Communications. And today I'm going to be showing you how the new Avid S4 can help you take greater control over your music sessions. Today we're going to be working with a session that I've just begun mixing and we're going to be looking at the functions and controls available to us on the S4. We can start by loading up the session that we've been working on in Pro Tools simply by launching the application and heading over to the master touch module. Here we can see that one of the customizable soft key sections has defaulted to show us our sessions menu and gives us the option of opening some more current work from the recent sessions dialog box. We simply select the desired session from the list and watch as the session loads. So here we can see that the desk has defaulted to show me the first 16 available tracks. Now my session is a little larger, so one of the things it's really good at is helping me navigate big sessions quickly and easily. We can use the following buttons to either nudge or bank through my available tracks. Nudging moves with one track at a time, whereas banking allows us to move either by eight channels or by the full width of the desk, depending on how we have it configured. We can also bank here by my faders as these user one and user two keys by default, allow me to bank left and right through my session. Another handy way of getting around my session is from the tracks menu here on our central master touch module. Now, as you can see, the S4 is able to pull a great deal of information directly from the Pro Tools session. And I've made a start by color coding my tracks. So I've got my drums in blue, guitars in red. And if I head over to this little settings menu here and enable this option, we can see that we're able to group our tracks by color. Now, this gives us a little bit more clarity, particularly when working with busy sessions. We can also go through our tracks by type at the top. And we can even make selections of multiple tracks, either by using modifier keys or by pressing and dragging like so. So now we can get around. Let's have a look at how I can take control over the various tools and functions that I'll need in my DAW to finish off this mix. The new channel strip module has been designed to incorporate the control and flexibility of the channel strip from Avid's flagship S6 control surface into this new compact and ergonomic design. We have this focus button, which allows us to see which of the channels on the module we're working with. And once focused, we can call up any of these available functions here onto the 32 assignable rotary encoders. One function that will be particularly useful for anyone that has a compatible remote controlled mic pre will be the input function. And this calls up the parameters for our mic pre onto the channel strip. The insert button gives us an overview of what inserts we have currently on the channel and allows us to interrogate them in greater detail. And we'll be looking at that more in another video. The dynamics and EQ switches allow me to call up the first available dynamics or EQ plugin onto the channel strip. This can be configured to a specific dynamics or EQ inserted. As you can see, we only have access to the first four parameters here in line with the channel strip. And this can be quite a clunky way of working. So if I use this expand function, I can spill out all of the available parameters for the EQ or for the dynamics onto the 32 assignable rotary encoders. One final function I'd like to draw your attention to is the send button. And when using this, I'd like to work with it in the all mode. So if we go over to the master touch module and use this all switch, you can see that the parameters on the CSM are now linked. And that's not just for this module, but for the whole desk. So if I press dynamics, every track with a dynamics plugin will come up. If I press EQ, EQ. So when working with sends, particularly if you've got reverb submixes, or artist submixes going out to headphones. It gives you that little bit more control right from the desk. So that's a rough overview of some of the key features of the new channel strip module. Thanks very much for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos or head to hhb.co.uk for more information.